गाइस माय नेम इज अंकुश कौरव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू कॉन टू सीरीज दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद अर्ली वन वे वी लर्न हाउ टू डेवलप दिस रेस्ट ए पी आई मीन्स रेस्ट ए पी आई विच डिमांड्स क्लाइंट्स टू मेक पुट काइंड ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट ऑन इट द क्लाइंट्स हु आर गोइंग टू मेक यूज ऑफ दिस ए पी आई आर ऑल्सो सपोज टू बी स्पेसिफाइंग द नेम ऑफ ए स्पेसिफिक स्टूडेंट हु इज रिकॉर्ड दे वॉन्ट टू मॉडिफाई and in addition to that they are also supposed to be sending the information with which they want this record to be modified at the server side so for this kind of rest api in the previous tutorial we included this rest api controller method and how this rest api controller method works well when someone is going to make a request using this rest api the request is going to come here at this rest api controller method and this path variable annotation is simply going to extract the value of student name from this rest api and assign the same to student name and this request body annotation is simply going to perform the task of mapping this information to the properties of student object and then later part of this api controller method is simply performing the job of uh, updating this specific students record into the database with this objects values with the information you know which has come along with the request and whatever i've just described in a very brief manner i explained in detail in the last tutorial now let's proceed further and try to understand how to test this rest api and also try to understand the meaning of content type request header which client has to make use of while making a request for this kind of rest api all right so let's start so to test this rest api let's go to postman and here type the rest api which is going to match with the pattern of this request mapping annotation so here i'm supposed to be making put kind of request on it so let's choose here put type and now here i'm supposed to be also sending the information with which i would want to modify this specific student's record and because this application supports two kind of formats you know json and xml so these are json related jars and this is xml related jar so because this application supports json as well as xml format so here i have a choice that uh, while making this request i would choose either of these formats to specify the information with which i would want to modify this record at the server side so here for specifying the information i would need to go to this body tab and here i can write information in json or xml let's uh, go with json first and later i would show with xml also so this is how to write json message so let's say i want to modify student name of john with a value john one and i also want to modify the hobby so right now let's say john has a hobby you know wwe wrestling and i want to change it to computer science so here we have developed the whole message in json format now when i'm going to make put request on this rest api with this information what's going to happen the request is going to reach this rest api controller method but here the problem is for request body annotation to work means to map this information to the properties of student object this needs to know in what format that information has sent by the client so for this to work properly client also needs to send along with the request 
you know the information about you know in what format it has specified this information so because we have specified this uh, information in json format so here i would need to include a header with key as content type with its value as application slash json so if client is specifying here information in json format then client is going to choose value of content type as application slash json and if by any chance client is uh, providing information in xml format in that case client is going to choose here xml instead of json so let's choose json as uh, we have here this message in json format so now our whole message is ready so now what's going to happen when i'm going to make a put request on this sd api with this information you know with this metadata the request is going to come here to this rest api controller method and here part variable annotation is simply going to extract this student's name means it's going to extract john and it's going to assign the same to student name and request body annotation would know from this content type types value that this message is actually in the json format so what it's going to do it's going to make use of json related jars which we have included onto the class path of this project to map values of uh, this message to the properties of this student object and once it is done then this method is simply going to update this student's record into the database with the values of this student object you know with the information which client has sent to this rest api controller method so that's how this whole rest api works so let me very quickly show you how this is going to work so here let me press the send button cool so here i've got this response because of this return value so here we just understood how a REST API works which demands clients to make put kind of request on it. Now let's uh, change here this JSON message to its equivalent XML message. So how to do that? Well, this is how to write XML equivalent of this message. Slash student, I have to write tag for this. Then I have to modify student name. So I would write a tag for that as well here student underscore name here i'm supposed to be specifying the name with which i want john's information to be modified at the server side so i want john's name to be modified to john one and then let me write over here student hobby student hobby and here let me specify computer science so here I want John's hobby to change from wrestling to computer science. So here I'm done. Now because this message is uh, now present in the XML format, so here I have to make a change for the value of content type header. I have to specify here XML. So now after this change, what's going to happen when I'm going to make a put request on this REST API with this information and uh, this metadata? Well, this REST API controller method is simply going to extract the value of name from this REST API, assign the same to student name, and request body annotation would know from content type key that this message is in the XML format. So it's going to make use of XML related jars to convert this message into its equivalent java object that is the student object and rest it's simply going to update this student's record with these values of student object so here in this tutorial we learned how to make use of content type header you know to 
convey to the server that whatever message you are sending along with the request is actually present in which format xml json or any other format and accordingly the rest api controller method is going to make use of that message to proceed further guys in the next tutorial i will show you how to make use of consumes argument with request mapping annotation all right guys a big thank you for learning rest api concepts using spring mvc framework with me if you have any feedback or comments please provide them below the video or simply write to me using this email id please hit the like button if you really like this video and uh, do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel gone to series and i'm gonna catch you in the next part of this tutorial